मर्तो यदा तैक्त समस्त कर्मा निवेदितात्मा विचिकीर सतो में तदाम्रितत्तम प्रतिपाद्यमानो मयात्म भूयाय चाकलपते वै मर्तो यदा तैक्त समस्त कर्मा निवेदितात्मा विचिकीर सतो में तदाम्रितत्तम प्रतिपाद्यमानो माया यात्म भूया यचा कल्पते भाई गौरीयो गोष्टिपति गौरीयो गोष्टिपति शीशीला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपाद जगत गुरु टोल्ड गौरीयो गोष्टिपति शीशीला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपाद परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट मी दैट आई एम एक्चुअली गिविंग उद्वेग टू यू ऑल द टाइम दैट आई हैव गिवन लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल एंड लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल्स आई हैव गिवन टू यू एंड इन ऑर्डर टू गिव यू द अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर भजन एक्चुअल हरि कथा आई एम एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड I am actually getting uh, everyone pratishtit in bhajan in order to do that I have to give a lot of uh, harsh words in the way of hari bhajan in the form of hari katha in front of you and sometimes this kind of bhav maybe you can get some day just the actual mangal you can get in your life by that by body speech and mind by body speech and mind in chetan shri che shri chetan charitam ridesh this uh, actual absolute vachan that is actually fixed and topmost that in shri chaitanya charitamrit this uh, uh, topmost uh, fixed absolute vachan isko uh, in order to realize that and it is very much dif- it is very much necessary to follow this vachan in toto but this kind of absolute truth just by taking the support of that that uh, topmost absolute truth about that in order to stop speaking about that it is not at all good this is very much dangerous point by not speaking about that absolute truth jeev hansa is of lot of types jeev hansa is it is of lot of categories lot of types are there of jeev hansa this is the actual uh, vichar of prabhupad people people are thinking that in order to cut people or to just beat them to kill them is actually hansa but propa speaking actually you see that this jivatma is there that this jivatma this jivatma in order to give the mangal of other jivatma whatever we have to do that is actually good that all actually all the jivas are in bonded state it is not at all possible for every jiva to be in bonded state to become sharnagat on to lotus feet of absolute truth is very much which easy to speak but practically is very much difficult to do that sharnagati on the pathway of sharnagati lot of thorns are there but still it is possible that you can get sharnagat by body speech and mind you don't need to give any kind of trouble to anyone this actual vichar of the shastras this by taking the support of that absolute fi- Uh, uh, vachan that a prakrit jagat's uh, topmost transcendental absolute truth in which all the jivas can get mangal just by not speaking that it is not at all good at all that for jivas just to uh, divert them towards opposite direction and just to tell them lie in the name of preaching that his own selfish interest is in order to protect that he is going on the opposite direction that is a topmost jeev hinsa that propad actually speaking this point that by jeev hinsa on the body they are they are actually thinking that uh, by punishing the body but on the jeev atma but on a particular jeev atma if you are actually diverting him on the opposite direction towards uh, and not to speak about that bhakti it is very much necessary to speak about bhakti otherwise if we'll just speak opposite to bhakti then it is very much a big problem very much difficult yesterday i was actually discussing this that brahma gayatri the mantra of brahma gayatri prachodayat we are actually speaking 
Just we are doing japa of that Prachodayat mantra. This Brahma Gayatri, that mantra, the actual uh, uh, presiding deity or devata of this mantra, that is, that Swayam Gita, he is instructing, uh, he is there on the chariot of Arjuna and instructing Arjuna in the form of Gita, which is a song of God that is from the transcendental mount of Krishna. That kind of uh, the chariot or the horse, horse uh, rope is there uh, in the hand of Krishna in the form of a charioter. And this, who is the actual, uh, who is actually giving us the all types of uh, prerna inside our heart, then that same Bhagwan, Bhagwan, that this male Mool Vigraha of the Gaitri. It is uh, there in the form, standing there in front of Arjun. That is actually manifested there in the form of Gita Pravachan. It is there. Ved Shruti Prasthan means in the form of Veda and Shruti. And Gita is Shruti Prasthan because uh, it is actually get coming from the tra- transcendental mouth of uh, uh, Bhagwan. That's what it is called. That all the Vedas, Vedant, the actual summary and conclusion of all the Sars of the Vedas that the actual instructions of Gita is itself complete, it is topmost, that only on the way of Sharanagati, the actual pathway of Sharanagati, it is actually in order to just uh, pratishti, to, to, to manifest one jiva on that pathway of Sharanagati is the actual function of Gita. Yesterday I was discussing this point, that Shashvat means that Nitya in nature. Shashvat means that Sanatan which is Nitya, which is permanent. And this by Varna Shankar, because of Varna Shankar, when all the Kul Gurus and our whole uh, family is just going to destroy, in that what will happen, that slowly steadily, Varna Shankar uh, will just get introduced again. It will again manifest. And after Varna Shankar will come by all the faults uh, covered by uh, Varna Dosh, then our whole Kula gonna get destroyed. And we are actually Jati Dharma, which uh, that which is very, very old from all kind of rules and old rules and regulations which we are following. That Kula Dharma, that Jati Dharma, Everything will get destroyed. Everything will be just going on to the pathway of destruction. Slowly, steadily. In this, that uh, that kind of pinned kriya uh, towards the forefathers and fathers, it will just gonna drop and just gonna vanquish. And all of these activities, pinned down and it's all... Tarpan, Pindadan, etc. to give water and to give food to your forefathers. Nobody will stay. Then in the family member, if no one will stay, then the whole uh, family and whatever their forefathers don't, four forefathers, everyone will go in hell. They actually have to give, the, he hasn't got any kind of uh, grains and water in, uh, in the form of Pindadan. Tarpan and uh, all kind of yagya, if you, they will not perform, then what will happen in that? That their forefathers and forefathers and Pitri Purush, all their Purvaj, previous uh, Pitri, Kul, everything, the very big uh, danger will come and it, they will fall down from their position. Arjun actually speaking to Bhagwan, you see this Utsan Kul Dharman if Kutsal if Kul Dharma will get destroyed, will just go completely destroy. In that only hell is the only option available. In this if all those whatever they are of our family members, 
they just gonna destroy themselves and they will be going towards the hell and they will stay in hell so we are, i have already heard like this what i'm speaking so like this arjun from his own side this is actually weakness of heart this is not uh, this is only weakness of the heart on the side of arjun this is not that again what he is speaking but still arjun speaking that bhagwan bhagwan so quietly is listening to what arjun speaking at that time arjun is actually speaking and bhagwan not at all speaking up till now anything why we are actually doing so much sinful activity for this why we should to go ahead why i have taken this uh, vow that definitely i will follow that pathway lohena hantum sajjanam uddata apna sajjanon that uh, all my fair friends and relatives in order to just uh, that for honor in order to get all the kingship in order to attain that why i will just taken this vow to just uh, kill them and to take the kingship from them after that bevasita vayam yad rajyo sukh lohena hantum sajjana muddata hum log that we what is actual uh, requirement for that for what purpose we require this arjun ka ye arjun is actual question of arjun is this and he is actually making vichar out of that and after that uh, he has given answer that karam asastram shastra pranayo dhartu rashtra rane hanyu mustan me khyamataram bhavit agar if all these people they are dhartu rashtra dhritarashtra those who are on the side of dhritarashtra all those commanders if they want to come and kill me then okay they can kill me but still i will not at all uh, take up my weapons to kill them maybe they are coming to kill me and definitely i am not going to pick up my own weapons and kill them rani hannu stan me khyamataram bhavi yadi maam apratikaram asastra yadi if that kind of weapons and no weapon is there in in my hand but still they are taking all the weapons and if they will come to kill me then they can kill but still i will not at all speak anything to them at all this also that this is actually all mangal mai for me if they will kill me but still this is actually topmost mangal and a very topmost treasure for me it will just be as to serve them as a feeling of service will come so like this this kind of vichar arjun speaking in front of arjun and he arjun is becoming disturbed by speaking all this why because at least minimum arjun wants to speak that at least bhishma drone etc all big big personalities they have just nourished us from la starting and all kind of education he has given and i don't have any kind of uh, vote to just kill them i don't have any right and i don't have any will to kill them if i will not kill them at least i will be getting out from the sinful activity so he arjun actually speaking this to krishna that all my relatives crore relationship persons in order to kill them and just to take away the kingship just by all those sinful activities by that i don't want to destroy my life with f- full of sinful activities so this is the actual reason now like this he has spoken and he has, uh, arjun is actually after speaking this he has taken rest and now sanjay speaking again and now sanjay speaking sankhe ratho pasto upavishat bisrijyo sa saram chapam shoko sanvigno manasa एवं एवं उक्तवा एवं एवं ऐसा एंड जस्ट स्पीकिंग दिस प्रवचन मतलब ये दैट ऑन द बैटलफील्ड 
in between the two sides his chariot is actually already stand there and now all those uh, commanders they are all ready to just uh, start the battle uh, previously arjun was just standing in order to see who he will fight with and because he actually instructed bhagwan to just take his chariot in front of the army so that he can see who can fight with him and after that when the chariot was just uh, stand up there after that he is a so lot of pravachan uh, arjun is speaking to krishna like this and after that he actually just sat down with disturbed mind that his whole gandiv and all his bow and arrow he actually has just left that and with a very disturbed mood he is just sat down on the chariot with the very from inside inter, inside his heart is very much uh, distressed and he has just start, uh, stopped speaking after that so this actually sanjay speaking like this to dhritarashtra so like this vishwanath chakravarti pad has already told regarding this point that uh, in order to kill his own uh, family members he don't have any kind of desire to kill them at all but how this fighting has take place it is not at all good to fight in this battlefield so like this he actually with a very peaceful mind want to take peace inside his mind after speaking like that and he just uh, uh, sat down on the chariot shankracharya ji has in the first adhyay that uh, in the first adhyay it means that arjun's uh, happiness arjun ka yahan tak koi tikka tappani nahi ki even they haven't done any kind of commentary when it is spoken bhagwan vacha when after arjun bhagwan actually speaking from there actually shankracharya etc that uh, commentary started from there and we can see like this that the whole gita the essence of whole gita on to the part of whole gita if introductory speech is going to start that full dhyan of concentration of mind then it will take long time to cover if we will go like this then it will take lot of time to just finish this whole gita and i don't i know that you don't have this much patience so i thought that okay in a very small words only that i will be speaking uh, the whole gita but with full uh, detail context uh, very less people are there to hear all this but still i have just uh, made it uh, as fast as possible otherwise uh, if i will just finish it as quickly then it will be uh, very uh, easy because life is very short and lot of seva is required is left in uh, shrimat in shrimad bhagavat the actual first adhyay of the gita upanishad that is already uh, finished up till now so today it is finished here up till here in the second adhyay here also sanjay again speaking this point and uh, he is taking a blind dhritarashtra and he is speaking to him sankhe ratho pasto upavishap so like this he has just finished that off and in the second adhyay now again it is written sanjay vacha again what is the actual condition on the battlefield dhritarashtra actually asking sanjay what is the actual condition after that what happened then sanjay speaking This is the actual excellency. This Arjun, immediately this Padmalochan Hari, that with very depressed and distressed mood inside his heart, he is actually very silent now and just uh, becoming. Uh, quite and after that kripaya 
So this kind of condition, what it is? At that time, Bhagwan Madhusudan he is actually speaking in front according to his. He has presented his own vichar, transcendental vichar in front of Arjun, and before presenting his own vichar in front of Arjun, he has just uh, made a big slap on the face of Arjun. And Arjun hasn't expected that the friend will speak to him like this, in this manner. Bhagwan. Now that's now it actually is written Bhagwan Vacha. From where this kind of in this uh, present condition that that anarja what it is there according to that that this kind of condition is coming on to your heart that this that that this kind of condition how it has come inside your mind that you will be just dishonored everywhere arjun this kind of decision what you are taking now and you are just sitting like this that arjun just after listening the pravachan of arjun that he, it looks like he is a, he's a big pandit but a lot of vairagya he has got like this because of this he is actually speaking like that but uh, that uh, sarvantaryami paratpar akhileshwar nandanandan that bhagwan shri krishna here actually speaking you are actually kalmash you are having a lot of uh, attachment and it's a lot of agyan uh, unknowledge nim un unknowledge devil without any knowledge you are actually taking this decision this arjun actually just showing dharma but it is not actual dharma this is adharma that dharma means that it is not bhagavad dharma this is the so called dharma this is general dharma lok dharma that whatever kind of different different dharms are there this all actually all actually foolishness nothing all rubbish so bhagwan actually speaking that this kirti whatever kind of kirti you are having all these actually are uh, destructible this is akirti karam akhyasti karam so this kind of kalmash and moh attachment from where you are getting that this kirti karam this is not kirti karam arjun this is very difficult this is akirti karam what you are doing bhagavat shabdo that bhagavat shabd ka aapko pata hai that you know already a lot, lot of times you have heard aur aishwarya to samagra so jaso so sriyo gyan vairagya shiva shado iti bhava ingana so this uh, all infinity all these kind of six kind of things are already there they are actually categorized like that six types are uh, in six types it is categorized parashar muni parashar muni also speaking in the this in the shastras bhagwan bhagwan is all the time he is sarv aishwarya pun full of opulence and and he is actually speaking to arjun that you are actually you are uh, not at all following sat dharma that sat dharma that kshatriya dharma especially you are kshatriya so in sat dharma that uh, sh- the dharma of the kshatriya just by following the sat dharma that kind of vimukh bhav you are having and it is actually against uh, all the shastras which you are doing it is not at all good this is uh, at the time of battlefield in order to actual uh, the kurukshetra battle is going to start and you are going to go away now that is not at all good this is not the role of a kshatriya that this fighting this is in this battlefield that vairagya is actually increasing 
by this is not that actual time to just think of all these things so that's why it is written that at that time when you are coming to a fight so definitely you have to fight the, their actual work is that in the battlefield they need to just to go away from the battlefield this is not the actual work of kshatriya this is not the actual role just to just to uh, just to destroy on the battlefield just to kill himself on the battlefield that is the actual role but without fighting and coming back from the battlefield it is not the actual role of a kshatriya so that's why here the actual vichar bhagwan shri krishna actually is making in detail that it is against your kirti that whatever kind of opulence it is all against that what you are having and it is against your honor also that this kind of vichar what you are speaking previously it is not at all good and after that he has spoken such a thing that arjun hasn't expected this kind of thing that krishna also can speak like this to me krayam masmo gamah partho naitat tvai upapaddate khudram hridaya durbalyam takto tishta parantapa yek This is the actual work of Kliva. That to get Kliva dharma, that it is not at all good to attain that. This is the actual dharma of Kliva. What you are doing, whether you are not male and not female, this is not the work of the male. This is not. This is not the work of female. They are Kliva. This is called Kliva. Neither male nor female. This is not at all good to have fire to follow this kind of dharma. that cleave dharma you are following so it is not at all good to follow on your part he he param tap this is very very narrow very very uh, down very very fallen this is actually very weak hirde durbalya very weak heart you just need to throw that away you have to leave that and you have just came on to this battlefield or you have to uh, battle battle it out on the battlefield that's it that you need to do you need to perform this duty so like this bhagwan shri krishna first actually speaking to him that you see this kind of very this is actually just weakness of your heart this is not at all actual vairagya what you are showing and this is also not the work of dharma what you are actually doing by just going away from the battlefield externally which we can see that bhagwan is uh, in order to establish varnashram dharma this gita pravachana actually he is uh, quoting but this is not like that that uh, whole gita under the anugatya of guru varga if we will be just uh, understanding and realizing that then this kind of all misconceptions will go away false misconceptions and at last bhakti the actual pathway of bhakti and to get pratishtit in bhakti that is the actual pathway in which we have to uh, get concentration into so like this like a very weak arjun that kind of topmost uh, virya and that kind of brave uh, rasa uh, uh, krishna is giving to him and arjun speaking that you see bhishma vitama etc are there so lo- loads of thing they have done for us and uh, i am actually going against them and if i will be just uh, going on to the battlefield to kill them that is not at all good that is against the rules of the shastras now bhagwan shri krishna after just uh, thinks uh, hearing that that arjun now speaking drunancha madhusuda ishu bhi prati jo swami pujarha varishuda aisa hai so like this how now actually is question that okay that uh, this is actually my weakness of heart you are speaking and this is actually just like cleave dharma i am following but you tell me that arjun speaking bismam aham sankhe dronancho madhusudan ha ishu bhi prati jo swami pujar ha varishudan pujar ho prapujjo pujar ho means who are actually worshipable my guru work and my bishma drone all they are actually worshipable for me 
सो विद देम हाउ आई कैन फाइट विद देम हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल टू फाइट विद देम एंड हाउ आई कैन जस्ट पुट ऑन द बो एंड एरो एंड जस्ट बैटल इट आउट विद देम ऑन द बैटल फील्ड हाउ यू टेल मी नाउ हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल हेयर एक्चुअली द एक्चुअल क्वेश्चन कमिंग दैट that arjun the actual question of arjun after that this again this question in order to answer that bhagwan slowly steadily is speaking each and everything bata rahe he is actually speaking everything here to see this guru no hatya hi mahan bhavano guru no hatya hi mahan bhavano श्रेयो भक्त भक्षम अपी हो लोके हथ कामस्तु गुरु निहैव भुंजीय भोगानो रुधिर प्रदीक धान अर्जुन ने ये प्रश्न अर्जुन एक्चुअली क्वेश्चनिंग दिस दैट बाय जस्ट केलिंग ऑल माय गुरु वर्ग एंड माय माय भीष्म पितामह इट इज बेटर that by killing all my guru varg those who are there standing against me in order to kill them it is better that bhaktum bhaksham api hologe e jagat mein that in this material world bhiksha karke just by doing bhiksha at the as a bhikshuk ashram i should attain and just by doing bhiksha grohan karna chahiye in order to just get bhikshuk ashram it is better to attain that by only by bhiksha I need to just uh, sustain my life like that. Why? Because if I will kill them. The in order to kill my own guru, and whatever kind of kingship and uh, treasure, it is just uh, is full of blood. If I'll kill them, that with, with the blood of guru work, it is actually just coloured with uh, whole treasury, gold, and kingship. and definitely i have to uh, i have to uh, get the results of this if i will do that aisa karke so like this dheere dheere slowly steadily he is actually questioning arjun and arjun questioning krishna agar aisa vichar if this which are that from the side of arjun if we will make this kind of question and we are thinking on the basis of arjun rajyo राज्य लाभ करने के लिए जैट अर्जुन हैज नो काइंड ऑफ डिजायर टू गेट द किंगशिप एंड ट्रेजर ऑन ऑफ द एंड बाय नॉट फाइटिंग ऑन द बेसिस दैट ही वी वोंट टेक एनी काइंड ऑफ किंगशिप सो हाउ ही ही इज एक्चुअली खतरी हाउ हिज लाइफ विल गो वे हाउ हिज लाइफ विल गो एंड चतुर्वर्णमया श्रेष्ठम सो अर्जुन एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ बाय किलिंग माय ओन गुरु वर्ग आई वोंट बी डूइंग लाइक दैट and just by their blood it is getting stained the kind of treasure and all kind of uh, property of this kingship i won't be taking that i will do one thing i will be just become bhikshuk and i will be just uh, 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 leading my life as a bhikshuk by taking bhiksha whether this is actually not the role of khatriya for khatriya this is not the actual role this is the actual uh, rules written in manu samhita that that uh, if brahmans are actually in danger and uh, in the danger zone when danger time at least the actual karma of khatriya brahmans can do in a very dangerous situation but that also and khatriya in very dangerous and emergency condition can can come one step down can uh, do the role of vaishya this is actual rules in case of emergency only in a very dangerous and emergent emergency condition they can do for khatriya this is not at all good this is actually very much a uh, uh, worst worst work this is very worst for all those khatriyas to just go away from the battlefield and if this which are actually are making gurujan jo hai that all my guru varg that they are actually on the side of duryodhan they are actually connected with them गुरु द्रोणाचार्य भीष्म पितामा एवरी वन दे आर एक्चुअली कनेक्टेड विद दुर्योधन इन द प्रेजेंट टाइम दे आर कनेक्टेड एट द साइड ऑफ अधर्म ओ अर्जुन दैट ऑल योर किंगशिप दे हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन योर किंगशिप एंड ट्रेजर 
and they are actually in the in the association of Duryodhan. So, so the so you are actually becoming Kartab Vigyanhin. You are having no knowledge of what kind of karma you have to do, but you have to make your actual decision what you want to do. That that without any kind of reason, they have just taken all the treasure and kingship from your hand, and they are actually just against you, standing against you. And they are actually doing all kind of uh, uh, politics with you. This Dushashan, Duryodhan, everyone. For them, they are actually all connected with the uh, Adharma. And uh, you, they are actually, you are actually going away from your Kartav, your actual duty. And they are actually all Dronacharya Bhishma, they are on the association of Duryodhan. Definitely, if they are with association of those uh, worst fellows, then they will get the Sang Dosh as well. Because they are associating with bad, they are doing bad association. So everyone will get the result of that bad association. And this which are actually, you are not at all thinking at all. You are, they are actually not at all making use of the Kartab Vikram, what duties they have to do. So they are actually Guru before, but now they are actually because of bad association. Maybe inside their heart now that uh, kind of gurutva what they were having previously it is now absent that kind of absence of gurutva now they will be having so how you can say that they are actually guru how you can uh, think that they are guru that sangha dosh definitely will be there because they are on the side of the bad association so because of that that gurutva inside the heart will just get lost so this yukti can also be considered because in the shastra it is written Raju Satoin Tamagun, they all these uh, gunas according to that, that they can get their association according to those uh, uh, gunas. And if you will just uh, be putting this kind of vichar, yes, previously they were guru var, but because of the bad association now, that that their gurutva, the absence of the gurutva is there now because of the association sang, uh, because of the bad association on the side of the Ryodan, just with the connection with the Ryodan. In this, uh, just in uh, fighting in connection with them, it is actually no, there is no fault in it at all by fighting against them. Because the Shastra Vichar is that, that Guru, if he is actually getting into material world and all material benefits and he has done very uh, low lying work, he, he has done very bad activities like Sri Sang, etc. He is going towards money position and all. And Guru is actually getting into Vishay all and he's becoming full of false ego and he is going towards without any knowledge he's supporting adharma at that time that in order to just uh, leave gurudev that is the actual vidhan of all the shastra there is no fault in that and in Srimad bhagavad ji mahapuran this kind of vichar is there so this all vichar is there that, that our life is going to destroy completely. That persons are going to get destroyed. Every person will be, every jiva will be getting destroyed. That whatever kind of our present situation, that kind of, uh, that who all present uh, uh, Gurudev or all relatives can't uh, protect me from uh, death they are not at all my friends they are not at all that guru he is not my mother he is not my father and who is not that demigod he is not at all my wife who can protect me from death that who can protect me from the actual shackles of death if they can't uh, protect me then who is my who who is guru then he is not at all guru at all so then you don't you have this kind of information but some from that from the twelve Mahajans out of that Sri Bisham Vitama got that uh, um, configuration out of the twelve Mahajans of Bhagavad Dharma and Bali Maharaj also that uh, he is just uh, not at all taking the instructions of Sukracharya also. He is not at all taking the instructions of Sukracharya. Why? Because externally Sukracharya is the actual Acharya of Asuras. He is the actual Guru of the Asura family. But still, 
Pralad Maharaj ji, the Adarsh Acharan and idealism of Pralad Maharaj, that is Bali Maharaj has uh, taken up in his own life. Because of that, Bali Maharaj, maybe he is Asura, he is from the Asura dynasty, but still so powerful he is and so much uh, respect he has for Guru Vaishnav. That Pralad Maharaj, you already know. He is actually from the Asura family. So what is the what is the thing in that? So bhakti at whatever level it is, you just need to uh, respect that because that respect is topmost. That uh, bhakti at what adhar it will be there? That is the topmost respect you have to give it. So what it ever is there, this this definitely is there. And the act thus according to the shastra which are also. If it is they are doing on the opposite direction, they are doing opposite, then it to just leave them. It is not at all bad. It is a it is a very good thing to leave them. Arjun now actually want to speak that inside the inside bhav of Arjun is that that mahanubhav that they are mahanubhav that Dronacharya is getting the ashta siksha. He has given me that ashta siksha. Uh, knowledge of the Ashta Siksha, but he that Brahmanutva here actually spoken spoken that uh, the in the f- before only before Gita only I have already just discussed and in the Vedan Shastra this is the actual realization. So Arjun inside the heart of Arjun this bhav is there that this is Mahanu bhav that Veda Dhyan Brahmacharya Vinay Adarsh Achran Atikasi Idealism because of that. He definitely is having that. That is, uh, he is very much uh, having a topmost effect. His uh, topmost effect uh, is having Bhishma, Vidama, Guru, Dhanunacharya, everyone. They have already just uh, got victory over death. And Kama also. They already have got victory over Kama and death. It means that by not at all uh, uh, doing actual uh, battle on the battlefield, they are actually all the time they definitely they are uh, uh, having fault externally but still they are out of fault arjun the actual internal bhav is that okay that you are speaking right or krishna but still these are actually krona guru dronacharya and bishum vidama they are actually so much uh, uh, power they are having brahmacharya everything veda dhyan everything they are having other shachar and idealism because of that inside externally so much uh, effect is their positive effect that very small faults externally they cannot fall down at all they are so much uh, spiritual power is there Bhishma Vitama Vitama Bhishma why actually is there on the side of uh, Duryodhan what is the actual reason behind that if uh, Krishna actually speaking this that uh, why that okay you see this Bhishma etc why they are on the side of the uh, of the uh, side of Duryodhan and and why they are actually against Pandavas now for them so inside them that kind of Mahanubhav what you are speaking how I can realize that that inside their heart that Mahanubhavta is there how I can realize that Krishna speaking to Arjun Bhishma Swayam uh, Bhishma actually speaking to Yudhishthir that you see oh beta that uh, Ubhay Paksha is already equal to me. Ubhay Paksha is uh, equivalent to me. Pandavas, Kauravs, they are, they are, I don't have any kind of dual conception in them. But still, that uh, previous Pratigya was also there. That is whole Kuru Vansh and uh, the kingship of the Kuru Vansh. I have to protect that. This is my, uh, this is my uh, Pratigya. And I have uh, already uh, maintained my brahmacharya for my whole life. And I have all the time actually have taken the uh, the rice and grains of these all bad people. Like Vidurji Maharaj haven't taken even a single grain from the side from the palace of Duryodhan. He used to take bhiksha. Only free service he used to do. That the actual work of the prime minister, even one single penny is not taken from Duryodhan. But still... Duryodhan just uh, disrespecting me and just kicking him off the palace. 
and Bhishma Pitama that previously that kind of pratigya is there that this whole kingship I have my life is there for this only for Kuru Vansh I have to protect and in between if some incident will happen still Bhishma Pitama speaking that that Yudhishthir Maharaj is speaking to him that still that both the Paksh Kuru Vansh and Pandavas I don't have any kind of distinction but the previous uh, and another thing is there that Duryodhan that I have taken his grains from Duryodhan that this kingship the kingship also of the Kuru I have to protect and this is second reason is I have taken grains from the uh, side of Duryodhan as well and Purush is always on the side of earth they are actual servant of earth earth means there are four Purushats here Pitama Bhishma speaking that whatever all kind of jivas who are purushakar that each i will be doing this that for each and every person these four purusharths they are actually the servant of that there is only one formula that all those purushgan those who are having a faith and on false ego that on their they are so much confident on on them that purushakar these all purushgan they are actually the actual das of earth whatever they are doing at end what they will get what is the final target for what purpose they are doing this that is earth this is the actual meaning of this so all those purush all those jivas are actually the servant of the earth but earth is not at all the servant of anyone everyone actually wants to do the servantship servantship of those earth but earth is not the actual servant of everyone here uh, the actual meaning of uh, Kaurav means that Kauravs are actually all the time busy in getting that earth, earth lab. So by that uh, yukti, that uh, in fine form, Patama Bhishma, that uh, he is showing that I am uh, the servant of earth lab. I am actually on the side of earth, so I am the servant of earth, so that's why I am doing that. It looks like externally. So what kind of uh, yukti, what we are getting out of this, if this condition is like this, then what kind of bhava can be there? That that it is actually on the side of the bad Duryodhan, Bhishma Pitama. And Arjun, just by taking the paksh of Arjun, the actual uh, answer is coming that yes, externally they are actually going on the side of uh, uh, bad Duryodhan and he is actually my guru. But and in order to kill them, definitely they can be killed. But still, that uh, the, in the future I will be getting uh, sinful activities out of that. I will be getting amangal in my life. And uh, that I have, they all have just came to fight with me, against me. But still, they are my guru. And in order to kill them and be taking all the treasure and the kingship, just by taking that and just want to get pratishtit in that, it is not my actual will. So it's better that I should become a Banvasi or a Bhikshuk in order to take Bhiksha outside by not fighting. At least I will not be getting any kind of sinful activities in order by just fighting with them to kill them. About Bhishma Vitama, it is very much important to get some information because it is very much important to get to know about Bhishma Vitama. Otherwise some faults will, some reason and logics will come regarding Pitama. That Draupadi also at the time when Bhisham Pitama was on the uh, speaking on the bed of arrows, Lok Dharma, Samaj Dharma, everything, all kind of Dharma is speaking to Draupadi and all the Pandavas. And Draupadi at last time he is questioning Pitama that I have one question that you are actually giving so nice pravachan but when I am getting disrespected in the Sabha then you at that sabha you were actually present there then you were not speaking anything that you have so much power that you have so much uh, the power of speech is there where it was there absent at that time then Pitama Bhishma just shook his head down and about Pitama Bhishma it is very much important to know about the information that Shantanu and Ganga and Gangaji is the actual son of that he is the actual son of Ganga and Shantanu Chir Kumar Putra, who is actually, he is uh, just uh, maintaining his Brahmacharya from the very beginning and he is a very staunch devotee of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. He is a very staunch devotee of Bhagavan, that he is Mahavir Jitendriya, 
full of uh, brahmacharya so much powerful he is actually the full treasure of uh, sadhu is there you can see that for the death for all the jivas which is inevitable definitely they have to get this at what time why it will come in their life there is no actually kind of uh, division is there but those who have get victory over the death and just uh, taking uh, the actual uh, benediction of getting uh, death according to his own will he has just uh, maintained that wish uh, of uh, by dying on his own he has got uh, uh, the death by his own he uh, he can just uh, die on his own that is called uh, uh, by his will he can die bishma pitama so in this out of the 12 mahajans bhishma pitama is one of them the actual adarshan acharan of mahajan is so much topmost that a normal person cannot even think of that why duryo on the side of duryodhan he is actually he is actually that his uh, in order to just uh, make sure that what he has already predicted previously he just need to uh, do that in his present uh, life uh, bhishma pitama so that all those uh, five pandavas they are actually against them guru guru dronacharya and bhishma pitama but still pitama bhishma is actually <coughs> all the time he is actually taking uh, the topmost uh, he is actually krishna bhakt he is a devotee of krishna topmost pure devotee of krishna he is so much uh, pure devotee of krishna that pitama bhishma this pitama bhishma the he wants to speak that that i will be uh, that my previous uh, pratigya is already there that i will be fighting against pandavas but externally also that i am uh, uh, you can see that i am externally having uh, la puja pradishta i want but actually he is actually calm jai and he is lob jai without any greed and jealousy bhav he has why actually he is doing that what do you mean here signifying shuddha saraswati what shuddha saraswati want to speak on the side of bhishma pitama what she wants to speak here regarding bhishma pitama what shuddha saraswati wants to speak that uh, those bhish bad bhishma pitama who is against all those uh, high pandavas and uh, pitama bhishma maybe externally you can see that he is against pandavas and he is uh, with the kauravas and he is against pandavas but still that his gurutva cannot uh, uh, get uh, defamed why because inside whatever kind of bhav he has that he is all uh, samaj dharm log dham different kind of dharm externally you can see and he is actually against pandavas you can see but that atma dharm bhagavat dharm if that dharm if you are actually putting one question regarding atma dharm or bhagavat dharm then <clears throat> in that case it is totally failure on the part of patama bhishma because he is all the time for the satisfaction of bhagwan he is doing everything on the battlefield are maharaj what kind of satisfaction is doing for krishna let us know that externally this is not at all possible what we are seeing uh, that what bishma Bish- pitama was doing in shrimad bhagavat ji mahapuran this you can uh, understand when uh, when bishma pitama is on the bed of arrows at that time when he was at on the bed of the arrows bishma pitama at that time when all the panch pandavas and all <coughs> rishi munis and bhagwan shri krishna were there at present in front of uh, the bed of air arrows where bishma pitama is having that kind of uh, uh, <coughs> his own will by he can die that uh, at that time at the time of his own death that uh, he is uh, just uh, bhagwan shri krishna is uh, uh, present in front of bishma pitama in order to um, 
in order to manifest leela and that in order to satisfy his uh, will of bisham vitama and his uh, and he is there on the bed of arrows he can't even stand he is just seeing krishna and at that time that he is just uh, putting his head shrouding shrouding his head down and just uh, putting respect on the lotus feet of shri krishna just by uh, closing his eyes and with very soft mood he is actually putting his dandavat on the lotus feet of bhagwan shri krishna and bhagwan shri krishna with the full uh, topmost nectarian uh, <coughs> nectarian eyes uh, he is actually pu- pu- putting one question to bisham pitama that how you are actually bisham pitama krishna speaking that uh, when uh, uh, krishna is actually seeing towards bisham pitama with a nectarian eyes he is put he started asking that how are you bisham pitama now how how you are feeling now at present so this whether it is all the uh, nectarian uh, eyes bhagwan already seeing uh, bisham pitama and he is putting his uh, nectarian eyes uh, <coughs> but his internal uh, eyes that all kind of flow of uh, nectar whatever kind of uh, uh, external <coughs> uh, pain what he was feeling is already gone from the body of bisham pitama and bisham pitama started speaking a lot of stuff stotra towards uh, the glorification of bhagwan shri krishna that bhagu those that bhagwan who is at the time at the at the side of uh, pandavas how they can get lot of um, <coughs> bad time in their life there are a lot of things i can't even discuss also because no time is there vidhumro vishak pacho lulito sramo varyan kala varjalan kritasse mamo nishit sarer vibhidmanas tachi This shlok actually it is there in Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran in the from the first canto ninth adhyay and thirty fourth shlok it is. Turagrajo vidrum vishako kacho lulito sramo varyalan kritasse mamo nishit sarir vividh manas tachi vilasat in this actually it is written that at the time of battlefield during the battlefield bhagwan shri krishna is just taking the wheel of the chariot when the dust particles are coming from the chariot and all the four direction dust particles are there and bhagwan's uh, tra- transcendental very nectarian beautiful uh, transcendental body and his eyes and he is actually lotus eyed uh, bhagwan how very unique uh, beauty uh, beauty is actually produced uh, bhagwan is actually sundarya mai but still a very uh, unique uh, nectarian beauty which is transcendental in nature uh, because the chariot when they were running because of that dust particles are going uh, on the body of krishna and all the body of uh, krishna it is actually full of dust and uh, by that uh, unique uh, effect of that uh, bisham pitama just got uh, attracted to that uh, swarupa bhagwan and when actually we are dividing this shramvari alankrita se means shramvari means that lot of uh, efforts because of that and whatever by the efforts that sweat is producing from the body that on the body of krishna it just like a transcendental sweat coming out from the body of krishna this is just very nectarian and and on that sunlight is actually uh, going on on the transcendental sweat of krishna and my and my and my very my that head which is very much sharp and my head which is very sharp and uh, i have just uh, surrendered onto the feet of uh, bhagwan at that time just by seeing the whole scenario and in the battlefield so this is the actual condition in the battlefield and by arrows whatever kind uh, my arrows are actually struck in 
on Krishna. That's why my heart is actually attracting towards Krishna. That is actually very much uh, unique and amazed to see this point because it is very much amazing and surprising to see this point. At one time actually it is speaking that uh, Krishna is Bhagwan, and again you are actually putting arrows on Krishna. That is not the work of pure devotees. And he is actually speaking that my heart is actually want to, is getting attracted towards that Swarup of Krishna. How it is possible that, uh, div- that uh, the body is actually bleeding off? How it is possible that devotee feels like uh, attracting towards Krishna in this Swarup? So actually the actual vichar you just need to make, otherwise you will do aparad on the lotus feet of Bhishma Vitama. So this which are definitely you need to make that how it is possible that he is getting attracted that devotees actually putting some arrows on Krishna and again and devotees are of very different types. Pralad Maharaj is of different type, Dhruv Maharaj is of different type, different different types of rasa every devotee is having feeling for Krishna. Devotee is not of one type, it is of different different type. So here actually what is the actual uh, uh, point which we want to speak. The actual point is that, like the case of Jai Vijay, like the case of Jai Vijay, Krishna by his own will is taking uh, Jai Vijay on uh, this material world, just in order to take the virya ras, uh, in order to taste that virya ras, because Bhagwan wants to taste that virya ras. When they are speaking that uh, we have done very wrong, and after that they got cursed, that Bhagwan speaking, no, you are not at all cursed. This is my own will. Because of that, you are actually going on to the material world. That you don't have any kind of fault in that. So, in order to taste the Veer Rasa, that kind, with the same Pitama Bhishma, also Bhagwan wants to taste that. And Vishuna Chakravarti Paj is speaking very surprisingly. And very amazingly and surprisingly, he is speaking uh, this Vichar. His Vichar is so much up that we can't even imagine what Vishuna Chakravarti Paj is speaking. Pitama Bhishma in, on the battlefield has just made that definitely I will uh, uh, take the weapons in your hands and Bhagavan Shri Krishna is speaking that no, I will not at all I will be just become a chariot um, chariot maker on the battlefield I won't take the weapons Pitama Bhishma speaking that yes you will have to take the weapons in your hand that this kind of ba- uh, war and on the battlefield and <coughs> definitely that kind of viraras in order to taste that he has that desire so in order to hear that uh, war ras a viraras that uh, by my own will i want to just taste that uh, viraras with krishna so that's why i made this kind of uh, pratigya our parvat maharaj of govardhan was also there Ka parvat parvat baba's temple is there in govardhan so, in, with Vrajavasi, he used to speak uh, and externally, it is very difficult to speak with uh, Vrajavasis. Uh, and they were actually fighting with Vrajavasi externally. I was seeing that uh, very, uh, very pain. But whatever uh, boxing, kabaddi, whatever kind of different, different games they are actually playing, Vrajavasis. But I am not at all feeling good, but they are actually feeling good. But you will not even feel that how they are actually feeling good in that. Vishwana Chakravarti was speaking that when when the Kandarparas, when you are getting manifested in that, Nayak and Naika, when in Kandarparas, they are actually getting uh, absorbed in that Kandarparas, Nayak and Naika, when when Nayak and Naika, in between they are actually getting entangled in that rasa. At that time, in the Kam Shastra it is written that, that their Dantaghat, Nakraghat, they are actually feeling very good in that. It is very much uh, uh, helpful and very much full of nectar for them. They are not. It is not at all painful at all. It is very much uh, surprising and amazed to understand this point. At the same time, in on the battlefield, normal person will be thinking that why what Pitama Bhishma is doing, that uh, from the body of Krishna that blood is going on, and he is uh, just putting on the sharp arrows on Krishna again. So this kind of uh, talkings of prema we can't understand at all. What kind of rasa Bhagwan wants to taste, and this uh, in order to taste the virus externally. 
भीष्म पितामह एक्चुअली कैन बी अंडरस्टूड एज वेरी मच श्रूड बट वाई वी डोंट नो वॉट एक्चुअल भक्ति इज वॉट इज एक्चुअली भक्ति वी डोंट नो एट ऑल भगवान इन ऑर्डर टू सेटिस्फाई दैट दैट इज एक्चुअली भक्ति इफ जस्ट बाय पुटिंग एरोज ऑन कृष्ण भगवान इज गेटिंग सेटिस्फाइड येस वी हैव टू पुट दैट ऑल्सो इफ भगवान श्री कृष्ण इज एंड विद बल विद बलराम जी महाराज ही इज एक्चुअली ही इज प्रेसिंग द फीट ऑफ बलराम जी महाराज एंड इज फीलिंग सेटिस्फैक्शन देन ओके इट इज गुड बलराम बलराम जी इज गेटिंग सेटिस्फाइड no it is not the seva of balram ji maharaj it is just for the satisfaction of krishna that krishna wants to uh, press the lotus feet of krishna uh, balram so it is very difficult to understand what bhakti is that who and how and by what well, how you can uh, understand what bhakti is so this uh, war battlefield definitely virus so but vidama bishma actually speaking just for the satisfaction of krishna i have done and you are actually thinking that i am without any prema that you have just understood this is uh, totally aparad it is not like that it is not like that surat yuddha mein in the surat war uddhakta vasata attadiko nakraga danta ghat e hone se or by having all this still they are not at all enemies they are actually very much friendly and uh, uh, premic of each other so the actual reason is that ye asli karan that is the actual reason to ittari upanishad in the tatari upanishad the shloka ye jo sutra hai that is sutra of tatari upanishad so evahi ayam lavdhanandi bhavati अखिल रसामृत मूर्ति भगवान श्री कृष्ण दैट अखिल रसामृत विग्रह इज भगवान श्री कृष्ण दैट हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल दैट ही कैन नॉट टेस्ट द एक्चुअल नेक्टेरियन नेक्टर ऑफ दैट वीर रस दैट टॉप मोस्ट ट्रांसेंडेंटल विग्रह डेफिनेटली बिभत्स रस वीर रस एवरीथिंग इज देयर सो वाई भगवान श्री कृष्ण कान टेस्ट दैट दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर सेटिस्फेक्शन डिवोटीज आर ऑल दैट भीष्म देव डिवोटी who is a pure devotee of bhagwan shri krishna by his own will he is actually taking the side of kauravas and just putting the arrows on krishna just by you know and he has got the full grip of bhagwan it is very deep vichar you can't understand if you have devotion only then it is possible bhagwan pitama bhishma actually is just running towards krishna and by the will of krishna he is doing everything on the battlefield shankracharya why that he swam shankar bhagwan vaishnavana me tha shambhu he is but why he actually is just pleased my avad why that on the actual uh, instructions of krishna that that's why shankaracharya has uh, spread my avad vichar preached my avad vichar because of the will of krishna the, the actual role of devotees is that just to satisfy bhagwan all the time that is actual work of devotees and another point that they the another thing what bhagwan has just to get pratigya that i won't be taking any kind of weapons in my hands for the whole war that okay pisham vidama swing that let me see i definitely going to you going definitely going to take the weapons so in between them the kind of uh, this uh, vichar is there in between both krishna and pitama bhishma that krishna will break his own pratigya just for the satisfaction of bhishma pitama that he is speaking bhishma pitama bhishma speaking that in order to uh, break his own pratigya he just came out of the chariot so that my pratigya can become true and his pratigya can get false and he is actually bhakta vatsal and he is just flying in the air out of the chariot just be careful and uh, conscious about this point nigam means that which is actually connected with krishna that what actually is coming from krishna is nigam nigam means that in ved vedant and uh, it is what is actually coming from the lotus mouth of krishna it is uh, different from veda no not at all so that's why krishna actually speaking no this is also prema in gita no madhurya is there how it is possible it is not at all possible Here actually we can see. Mam apahayo, mam pratigyam ritam 
మనం అధికారత్వం అవప్లితరం చూస్తాం that if in order to just break his own pratigya that my pratigya he has just uh, in order to prove my pratigya as true and topmost bhagwan shri krishna swayam he has done this he has just uh, uh, came out of the chariot and with one chakra on there is one uh, uh, chakra in his hand he is just uh, taking guruji guruji used to speak that uh, uh, father is actually going to uh, uh, beat a child na huh? like that krishna actually taking one kind of chariot <coughs> chariot wheel in his hand he has just uh, and he just want to go and beat bhishma and going forward in order to beat bhishma with that and bhishma with our speaking that that your pratigya is going on you don't know so this is the actual mimamans the commentary is that that bhagwan is bhakt vatsal that bhagwan shri krishna this is the actual uh, support of the leela of bhagwan that uh, when we have done the actual pravachan of geeta we already are doing that in that this leela that uh, arjun is not at all kshatriya vaishya shudra this which are is not at all there but still when bhagwan has just manifested his leela on this material world then arjun he is actually taking with him and uh, that's why he is uh, uh, he has just uh, uh, given this geeta pravachan in front of us by taking the support of krishna and he has just put arjun in this situation arjun has been put into that situation otherwise the if we actual vichar you will get whether arjun is not at all vaishya shudra nothing he is is nitya parshad bhagwan that were he is actually away from varnashram dharma he is actually nitya parshad of bhagwan but still bhagwan has done, done this kind of leela so in the same way about pitama bhishma also the actual point is that just for the actual taste or and support for the leela bhagwan externally is actually he is on the side of uh, bad duryodhan just his body is actually is uh, towards duryodhan but the mind and intelligence is towards bhagwan that's samaj dana sansar dana externally he is actually doing all but internally his heart his mind and intelligence everything is a uh, surrender on to lotus feet of krishna that atma dharma in actual all the time is actually going on or in that there is no uh, fault in that at all that devotee bhishma pitama is that the is actually the actual support of the leela vilas of bhagwan so it means that the actual character of uh, bhishma pitama is it is not it is out of logical arguments it is logical interpretation cannot be cannot stand in this way at all and externally you can see that he is actually doing the work of guru and doing opposite and rishabh the maharaj also speaking i have already told this shloka this shloka already i have told of rishabh dev from bhagavatam or and chirukumar and chirukumar bishma pitamaha bishma pitama kashirastanaya kashirastanaya balika ombika that all the three uh, women having a unique and transcendental uh, uh, limit or limit of power chitrangala they have just given one uh, very lot of stories there behind that i don't have time to go behind this story ambalika chitrang chitrangada and Omega. other three women oh, omega this kind of uh, deep was given to them and the third uh, woman and the third lady is amba and ambalika two ladies and amba was given and vichitra virya was given amba chitrangada actually given to ambalika and the third one is ambika it is she is actually he, she don't want to let go away bhishma vidam are how you can marry me 
देन डेफिनेटली आई विल मैरी यू शी स्पीकिंग टू भीष्म विदामा एंड द थर्ड अम्बालिका एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू भीष्म दैट आई हैव दिस विल टू जस्ट मैरी यू बट भीष्म विदामा स्पीकिंग एक्चुअली जस्ट स्पीकिंग दैट आई कॉन्ट मैरी यू एट ऑल एंड विद फुल फॉल सी गो शी एक्चुअली जस्ट गोइंग अगेंस्ट भीष्म पितामा शी स्पीकिंग टू दैट अस्त्र गुरु ऑफ भीष्म पितामा वट परशुराम दैट परशुराम जी शी एक्चुअली वेंट ऑन टू लोटस फीट ऑफ परशुराम एंड स्पीकिंग दैट यू शी शी इज एक्चुअली गिविंग मी लॉट ऑफ पेन दैट दैट्स वाई परशुराम कांट सी द पेन ऑफ द वुमेन सो दैट्स वाई परशुराम जी वेंट टू भीष्म पितामा and he he actually given this kind of adesh to bishop without that you just need to marry uh, marry this woman and he speaking with very nice and very tranad uh, bhi mood that this is my actual pratigya gurudev i can't marry a woman that for that i have already taken this vow in my life that i won't marry any woman but still parshuram ji speaking still that he is uh, um, he she he is speaking that yes you just need to marry are are how possible Bishop Vidama actually just become very much angry and you are actually guru and you actually want to understand want my mangal that i have already taken a vow that how i can break that vow you tell me how i can break that how it is possible to break the vow Parshuram ji actually become very much angry and Pitama Bhishma also become angry are what is this that uh, i am giving the actual yukti of uh, uh, shastra I have to maintain my vow that you are not at all understanding the yukti of the shastra. And at the end, when Parshuram ji just doing uh, uh, extra forcefully is putting pressure, then Pitama Bhishma actually speaking. उत्पथो इन महाभारत उद्यखंड इन दैट दिस लोका इज देयर पितामा भीष्म इज आउट ऑफ इज आउट ऑफ द ट्वेल्व महाजन डेफिनेटली वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट ही स्पीकिंग इफ गुरु देव इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग इन गेटिंग इन स्त्री संघ एंड एक्सटर्नल नेम फेम पोजीशन इज एक्चुअली रनिंग फॉर दैट then he has just he will fall from his consciousness and in that case <coughs> that gurudev why you are actually speaking his guru why you are actually speaking guru as guru the actual meaning of that we are speaking guru that he is actually connected with anant dev brahad vastu that's why it is good having that guru to that i am actually gurudev so you just need to uh, worship me it's not like that the actual gurutva of gurudev when it is getting more and more transcendental in nature when he is actually getting connected with anant dev that infinity brahmand gurudev that is baldav ji maharaj anant dev when he is actually connected with that anant dev up till that point that his gurutva definitely will get manifested because anant dev is actually the source of all guru tatva when this uh, sambandh or relationship is getting uh, bro- broken then he will just lost his gurutva and no gurutva will stay in his heart now guru will become laghu like the bonded jeevas also if he is doing the work of a gurudev then it is a very dangerous situation dangerous inconceivable dangerous uh, uh, result will come if bonded jeeva is going to do the work of a guru then it will be very dangerous result will come out of that normal normal person sinful activities if he is doing it is not at all that much uh, countable it is not at all that much dangerous but when a bonded jeeva is doing the work of a role of a guru and he is doing that then it is very very dangerous in very very dangerous you have seen a lot of example yeah, you have already seen now that full of karma he is that he is uh, jealousy greediness is there but he is doing the work of guru sanatan goswami that we are actually just um, Uh, not respecting we are disrespecting we are actually disrespecting uh, rup goswami pad we are actually disrespecting them no jeev goswami pad we are disrespecting him what is this we are disrespecting no for them we are not at all uh, agreeing and not at all taking the shastra vidhan in our own life it means that we are disrespecting them that we are just breaking that and just diverting and making a new siddhant which are out of that it is the big abrad 
we can't do that like, like that they are making new siddhant which are it is totally disrespecting of disrespect of guru rub ragunath prabhupad siddhant which are they are actually be, just may breaking the rules and if we will be just following the rules of prabhupad then very difficult to some foolish number one speaking that uh, if you will follow the rules of prabhupad then it is very difficult to run gaudiamat gurudev always used to speak that prabhupad and bhakti vinod thakur the rules and regulations if you are following who are not at all following the rules and regulation of bhakti san saraswati prabhupad and bhakti vinod thakur then gaudiamat won't run at all it is not at all gaudiamat it is some other mat this is komat he is foolish number one who is speaking like that we just want to slap on his face just in the name of bhajan he is actually speaking are you just go home if you want to you want to do your own bhajan you want to make your own bhajan niti you can go house go to your house that's it he just um, everything is uh, going in vain because of him so all of this what to do what not to do what uh, actually is good what is not at all good this kind of which are this kind of which are just by removing that we just need to take the straight decision that utpad gami gurudev that uh, full of utpad that kind of gurudev we, it is better to just uh, leave that guru that is actual vidhan at that time parshuram parshuram and bisham pitama inside them lot of uh, kind of uh, uh, battle kind of a uh, big battle was there between parshuram and bisham pitama when Pars- and parshuram just got defeated by bisham pitama in front of his uh, disciple it is because he was just speaking opposite he has no power he lost his power and he is there going on the pa- pa- pathway of adharma whosoever he will be no power will be there with him at all no power will be there with him at all maybe a big battle has actually going on and parshuram just got defeated defeated in that war and he just went away from there so this woman now she is actually taking the other form and he is coming in front of bishm pitama now you understand i will just speak it later she is actually taking a second swarup and in order to just take the revenge from bishm pitama she is taking another form Uh, how i will definitely going to speak that point also so after that so this which are very actually deep which are is there otherwise vidama bhishma about him this uh, wrong siddhant which are can come it is definitely natural who can understand this all maharaj that bhishma vidama why actually is going on that side and why he is actually not doing pratibhad when draupadi was getting naked in front of the sabha so what is the reason the actual point is that the whatever uh, the actual uh, kiyagram of pure devotees externally it looks like it is very bad but uh, it looks externally that it is totally opposite this is not at all good but uh, externally it looks like it is all uh, bad but definitely you just need to understand this point that each and every uh, kriyakaram of the devotees it is all uh, actually going on the instructions of krishna that it is just for the satisfaction of krishna only whatever kind of work he is doing or uh, if uh, if he is not at all speaking in the sabha definitely there is one positive reason that pitama bhishma if uh, by the will of krishna if uh, for the satisfaction of uh, krishna leela he is doing everything then only and only he can just speak everything in front of them and can shut up everyone but he is actually not speaking what is the actual reason that whatever kind of sinful activities is that their sinful activities will incre- increase more and more after that like the in order to increase the sinful activities of kans naraji maharaj just putting one ghee in uh, uh, the fire flame and already fire is actually uh, glowing but still some ghee was given by naraji maharaj are maharaj how are you what kind of vichar you are speaking now he is actually respecting kans and he is just putting on the chair and what is the actual situation of yours he is actually speaking after that naraj ji maharaj actually swam speaking to kans that rajan that this vichar is not at all good why that this uh, 
have already just uh, left all those sons of uh, Devaki that they demigods are very much clever very very clever they are they are actually you are actually speaking that the eighth eighth son of Devaki will kill me but how you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 in ascending order and if you are going descending order 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 like this if the counting goes on by demigods then what you will do are yes you are speaking right come speaking and after that to count it opposite maybe one maybe six number you can just uh, not uh, counting that and if you can think that uh, you can also think like that that naraji maharaj that he just uh, make one infighting that uh, this is also one kind of infighting what he has just put in it is also one seva of uh, devotee what he is putting and he has just putting one infighting that uh, Flame is also burning, igniting. There is one ahuti of ghee already given in that so that it can burn twice, more two times or five times. So Kans immediately he is just taking the first child and definitely I am going to kill him. No, definitely I will kill him. Maybe he can be the eighth child from opposite descending order. Why? Because Naraji Maharaj, that uh, he just, he, whatever he is doing, he is actually doing by the actual will of Krishna. He is not doing on his own. So actual uh, uh, thing, advantage is that, that uh, so that the sinful activities what they have done, it will just get uh, more and more. But <coughs> when, when he, Bhagavan Shri Krishna was actually used to come, before that, that so much sinful activities he had already just uh, got inside him. And he has actually given uh, one kind of vachan to his uh, daughter-in-law, so son, that, uh, that your... <coughs> son what it is there he has done aparad I will be just uh, putting off 108 aparads what he will do after that I will give him the treatment Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to the mother of Shishupal so Naraji Maharaj also here or whether Paitama Bhishma you are speaking or whatever you are speaking of pure devotees they are actually just for the actual satisfaction and nourishment of Leela of Bhagwan. what is actually good they are actually doing that they are not at all doing any from their own will. So the our which are will not at all stand. Why actually it is good nor bad. Nyai and Anyai. Externally you cannot do any kind of vichar. According to the vichar of Shastra. So much deep and so much uh, uh, internal. Is that we cannot go up till that point. That's why we have to go full confidence. Grow full confidence onto the uh, Guru works vichar. Which is very much important to grow confidence on that. Like Goswamis you can see that uh, all the Ved Vedant when we'll be reading up till how much point we can read we have time no that just be reading all the Shastra we don't have any time it is better that we can just uh, under the guidance of Mahajans in front of them sitting that uh, our Mahajans we uh, can just hear about some Shastra this is all realization practical realization and Shad Goswami Pad also all Ved Vedant Upurans Upanishads Everything, all infinity, just they have just put the vichar and they have just churned it and they have put the actual conclusion in front of the us. Up till this point also, that Goswamis also have just written Sila Sachidanan Bhaktivno Thakur. After that, we have got what kind of advantage we are getting that all the kind of Goswamis uh, Granth, it is actually more and more churned into fine form in front of us because we don't have time to read the Sandharbs as well. And just by making the all total vichar of the Shastras, the seventh Goswami Srila Sachidanan Bhakti Thakur has just given us the gist and conclusion of all the Shastras. Jav, Dharma, hair, wear, everything. Bhajan, Rahasya. Oh, so nice vichar he is actually putting up. If you will be just putting that much vichar, we cannot understand at all. We will just get uh, killed <laughs> just by reading it. The Shad Goswami Pad has written, then in Shad Goswami has to come. This already written there that all the Shastras which are if you are just reading that on the actual uh, conclusion of that we are getting uh, in front of us that Keshav Goswami Maharaj has just uh, reading the Mayavad Vedanta reading that each and every which are he is putting out in front of us and just giving the explanation for them it is possible for all these Parshads of Bhagavan 
they are actually all nitya parshad of radharani up till this radharani uh, mahaprabhu also speaking mahaprabhu actually speaking that it is not at all good that you should hear and read mayavad siddhant just by seeing mayavad after that that with your own cloth you just need to take bath this is a vichar actually mahaprabhu speaking he is already instructing us like that but keshav goswami maharaj he is actually just uh, in order to just uh, destroy the mayavad vichar he is reading the whole mayavad vichar and in order to destroy it completely he has just made one weapon in order to destroy that so these people can do they are all mahapurush pitama bhishma can do anything externally that uh, he is having that viprit bhav that bhav of bhishma pitama is actually opposite the vichar we cannot understand what is the actual mimamsa what is the actual purport conclusion the after getting all vichar of the shastras the actual conclusion is coming here is that that definitely it is right that devote is the work of actual devote is is that in order to satisfy bhagwan all the time kai kai this bhagwan shri ramchandra is actually speaking to kai ki that you are actually speaking that you can uh, and you can do anything to satisfy me yes you have already told me okay you give me one vachan you give me one vachan what vachan you want that you need to <coughs> for 14 years you have to just uh, put me in jungle are how possible i can't do that no 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 you have to do this is your that you want my satisfaction this is your actual work and uh, you have just asked me such a thing krishna uh, ramchandra ji that whole world in that everyone can just uh, put uh, uh, blame on kaiki and everyone can uh, hate kaiki this kind of work krishna has done are yes you can do anything for me yes i can that whole world infinity world can just speak foul language and finding faults in you but you can see that yes kai ki speaking yes i can do it everything for you okay then you have to do this ramchandra ji speaking externally kai ki has just spoken this because kai ki shri ramchandra ji so much prema she has got he has got ramchandra ji so much prema from uh, childhood it is actually very much uh, uh, surprising to see the actual prem of kaike but externally our vichar won't stand at all how so much topmost vichar it is how we can understand that in bonded state it is difficult to understand that vichar that's why this kind of logical interpretation definitely it will won't stand in the way of uh, guru vishnu just to take the philosophy of the guru vishnu and just to follow the actual pathway of guru vishnu and their uh, whatever they are speaking we just need to understand by our own uh, vichar if we'll be just uh, going on uh, then opposite will happen so whatever uh, it is there that the fifth in the fifth number shlok arjun actually speaking that very some deep uh, and long vichar i have already told shreyo bhaktum bhaksham bhaksham api ho loke अत्वार्थो कामं कामंस्तु गुरु न्य गुरु निहिवो भुंजियो भोगानो रुधिर प्रतिधान इसका विचार हो पाए दिस विचार आई हैव डन ऑलरेडी अभी 6 नंबर श्लोक में द 6 नंबर श्लोक नाउ अर्जुन अर्जुन कह रहे हैं कि स्पीकिंग दैट यू सी नौ चैतत विद्मो कतो रण्यो गरियो प्रमुखे धार्त राष्ट्र अगर हम युद्ध में हम लोग का युद्ध जय हो जाए इफ वी विल गेटिंग विक्ट्री इन द बैटल फील्ड एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट विक्ट्री इन द बैटल देन and uh, and if we will lose then in between these two victory and loss which one out of the two which which are is actually good to lose or to win this which which are is good why because inside my heart this which are actually is coming that those people that uh, if we will be killing those people in the 
battle i am not at all able to live my life more after that killing them on the on the side of dhritarashtra maybe they are against us but still after fighting with them they are already there to fight with us and in between both of us when we will be fighting it is not at all good to start the fighting and whether it, it, it is better to lose rather than to win what kind of victory we will get after killing them all the actual reason is that just by killing them that i don't want to stay in this in this life in this material body or in this body i don't want to stay so actual vichar is this that arjun speaking that uh, this, it looks like it is one kind of question but definitely this is not pariprashna in geeta definitely this will come this which are definitely will come again arjun this uh, this actually question it is not at all question i'll just be speaking you in front of you later but still krishna is merciful and he he is speaking just by speaking this he started the pravachan and the other guru will be speaking up what you are speaking first i'll see that he is sharnagat or not if you are sharnagat now i have already told you no 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 i am i will not fight how it is what kind of sharnagat it is so this vichar should be there this is the vichar aisa so like this arjun ka prashna hai the actual question of arjun is like this only arjun ka ye prashna arjun this question is like this only in front of krishna it means that arjun wants to speak that that i will be stopping the war and i'll be just taking the pathway of bhiksha i'll become bhikshuk and i'll be just asking for bhiksha from others and i'll not be fighting in the battlefields and out of which out of the two which is the best pathway to follow arjun asking to krishna at the one time that there is no uh, question of jeev hinsa when i'll be doing bhiksha because i'll not be killing any jeeva and <coughs> and on the other side i have to kill them and it's strictly prohibited to it is strictly prohibited not to kill very sinful to kill them and on the other side if you can see that if by i'll be just uh, making my life uh, continue at least there is no jeev hinsa if i will be doing bhiksha so it is better that i should not uh, participate in this uh, battlefield in this fighting and it looks like it is a good uh, uh, thing that i should not fight with them and should should go on the bhiksha pathway of bhiksha and on the second side if uh, i will fight them with them in this battlefield that uh, against uh, what kind of uh, fighting uh, bhav they are having all actually fighting will be take in take in fighting will take place between us what will happen only blood and blood will come out of that and only sinful activities i'll incur in my life arjun speaking so like this all this which are arjun at the actual question of arjun is that to krishna that if we will get victory also but still all these uh, friends relatives all my pitamaha or my guru or everyone everyone will get killed definitely it is also one kind of uh, loose one kind of uh, lost i am on the way of uh, losing only everything because it is better that i should go on the path for bhiksha it could it is good like i should leave everything and i go and should become a bhikshu so like this Arjun has just wants to prove that he is very knowledgeable he is top most knowledgeable that so much yukti he is actually providing to Krishna different different vichar he is speaking to Krishna by this it comes it concludes that he is a very top most knowledgeable personality he has the top most knowledge of this whole infinity universe because in the shruti it is written so like this it is very good to do this kind of darshan but externally there is no uh, fault at all in arjun and there is no kind of uh, um, there is nothing fault in the way of arjun what he is thinking but it looks externally only that he is thinking right 
बट हेयर द एक्चुअल विचार इज देयर इन द सेकेंड श्लोका शरणागति शुड कम इन अर्जुन दैट कार्पन्न दोष दैट जस्ट बाय लूजिंग हिज प्रेवरी एंड करेज ऑफ एज ऑफ अ क्षत्रिय एंड कार्पन्य वॉट ही नीड्स टू डू हीज नॉट एट ऑल डूइंग so that's why karpanya dosh can come in arjun and in this situation and in this situation that uh, uh, he actually he is already there in dharma sankat the and he is in a very puzzling condition and in that position that dharma vishay the actual vishay dharma which signifies dharma he is not at all getting a confirmation he is getting uh, unstable and puzzled in that and definitely which is actually good for me advantageous for me that i have to do which is very much 100% advantageous and topmost mangalmay for me to perform this you tell me why because i am your disciple arjun speaking to krishna that i am your disciple so that's why you tell me that you have to give me this kind of topmost knowledge and vichar so that i can get out of this puzzling condition and i take prapan on your lotus feet that sharnagati i have i want to take i have already taken on your lotus feet arjun speaking to krishna but the, if we we make the actual vichar that arjun actually speaking that hamara that my i am actually kshatriya and this kind of kshatriya uh, bhav actually i have actually lost the completely and my karpanya dosh has come and my heart is getting here the durbal the weakness of heart has come and this situation is coming that i am not at all getting uh, stable that what is uh, right to do what to do what not to do what is right and what is not wrong and now you tell me that which is the topmost mangalmay for me according to shastras and whatever you will speak which is which will make me out of this puzzling condition and make me stable you tell me that what i can do the first thing is that when bhagwan will actually uh, speak from his lotus mouth he is uh, speaking a foul language to arjun and he is actually just uh, uh, giving uh, one foul word to arjun this is the actual work of acharya that that in order to rectify his disciple the actual situation of his disciple this is the work of acharya that actual guru and acharya no kind of hinsa is there inside his heart but when he is actually speaking very rigid it means that he is actually doing the work of acharya arjun ka hriday ka bhav the heart of arjun inside his heart internally it looks like has total vairagya inside his heart but it is not at all vairagya भगवान श्री कृष्ण इज एक्चुअली जस्ट स्पीकिंग इन डिटेल्स दैट इट इज क्लेब्य दैट इट इज एक्सटर्नली इट लुक्स लाइक सो मच वैराग्य इज देयर एंड सो मच मर्सीफुल ही इज सो मच नॉलेजेबल इज बट ही इज एक्चुअली क्लेब्य ही इज नॉट मेल नॉर फीमेल क्लीवता इज देयर दिस काइंड ऑफ अज्ञान अन नॉलेज अन नॉलेज अन नॉलेजेबल थिंग एज जस्ट केम इन द हार्ट एंड माइंड ऑफ अर्जुन he will not at all get the actual yash in that abhi jo hai here now it looks like by this it looks that uh, arjun actually sharnagat completely but yeah, tomorrow i will actually make this which are definitely that this is not at all a perfect sharnagati of arjun if sharnagati it is then bhagwan actually speaking yukti how actually is not at all accepting that that i will not be fighting this kind of yukti he is speaking how it is possible for arjun to speak like this that for bonded jeevas their natural behavior is like that that onto lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav they are showing sanagati and sometimes 
they are doing their own uh, going on to on to their own pathway this is a natural behavior uh, krishna actually just uh, laughing now he is speaking that i am sharnagat but at the other moment other instance he is not at all sharnagat he is following his own pathway that you are guru and i am a disciple and you give, do all kind of sashan on me that you just tell me what is the actual mangalme pathway for me and you just prepare me for the worst but this condition is like this that after that arjun actually speaking that no i will not be fighting at all so this which are actually is very dangerous which are and uh, the first shlok i don't have any time to just again speak that shloka first shloka थोड़ी when they are actually got sharnagat uh, peacefully onto lotus feet of some object when krishna is speaking that that uh, all when the person who is going to die that who has already left every ki- kind of uh, karm he has already left that and he is just uh, going to surrender onto my lotus feet and he want to get my lotus feet then he is kicking off all the dharma and that his nivedita atma that is absolute sharnagati it is getting onto lotus feet of me then only at that time that kind of topmost nectar can come inside his heart automatically it means that absolute pure bhakti can touch his heart it can come inside his heart he can receive that absolute bhakti that he will become full of nectar nectarian bhakti onto my lotus feet he'll get that with me he is getting one way by prema that in our leela he is just getting uh, just by doing dhyan all the time he is getting the entrance into my leela it means that one kind of ekta just by thinking like that his name is and this vichar the which are which i have already told you this which are you just make sure what i am speaking just notice on that so nice symmetry is there in this which are very nice symmetry it is there marto jada takto samast karma nivedit atma vichikir sito me tada amritattam pratibaddamano maya atma bhuyayo cha kalpate vai vanchakalpaturvasya ke pasindu vyavasya पतिथान पावन भविष्यभ्यो नमो नम